Right, here's a checkpoint. Now this is the highest point. I don't know if this is Lydia Hill. When I put the video together, I will uh, put captions. Like I said, I didn't study properly. And probably from here you can get to the church. There's more than one church around here I want to visit. But it won't be done today because I don't I need an hour and the church is on their own. But at least I've done this bit. I mean don't have to keep coming up here, look. Once you've done it. I've got a lovely walk back home. <sighs> lovely walk back home. <sighs> here we go, there's no one here as well, so I can video it. Unless they come up from the other side, there is another way up apparently. That's why I'm videoing first. Oh, I've done some else today. Up and down. This is the big hill. I think they, I think they call this Lydia Hill. I might have actually been up here, you know. I got a feeling I've been on this hill, the highest point. I've got to go right back over there yet. Yeah. Um, from another direction, like say down there or something like that. Which would take you down to the villages, I reckon. Right, everyone, this is it. I've reached this big hill. Triscombe's back that way where the quarry is. I've still got to look for the Triscombe stone. I'm going to go back down a different way. I've come up that way. I won't be going down those ways. But I'll go back down that way. And hopefully I'll see this Triscombe stone. Someone did shout it to me. Right, this monument forms part of the Ordnance Survey National GPS Network. It is an offence to damage it. Well, where's the board and the information then? Just gives you a reference point. You think they'd have some sort of feature up here, wouldn't you? Now here's me. Of Somerset, maybe. Could be. Of course, the idea really was for me to find West Bagborough Church down there somewhere, follow one of these lanes. It would probably take me there, but I'll do it from a different angle next time. Um, it is a bit, a bit of a hike. I had a few hiccups with the lead to the camera. Um, which has sorted itself out now. This is this beautiful. This is my garden, everyone. My big garden. Absolutely gorgeous. Eureka! Right then, folks, I've um, done the stone, spoke to a nice lady who told me where the church is and where I can park um, for another time. Well, I've done enough today, really. You can get oversaturated. And what I'm going to do is drive Alberta to back West Bagborough next time. I'll have to risk the narrow lanes. I thought I'd do a little bit of video now that the camera's working okay. I'll do a little bit of video going downhill so that you can all see the beautiful views. There's the highest point of Lidded Hill then. West Bagbrook is over there. It's not really far but I haven't got time. I left it 
I need another two hours basically, but I've got to allow myself four hours to get back to Holford. It's four, nearly four o'clock. Basically, I've been gone four hours. That little lady I met this morning be coming back to her. It won't take me four hours to get back though. I've done an awful lot of uphill. I've done an awful lot of uphill today. And, um... I've got to follow all the way back. See that line of trees? I've got to get, walk all the way through there again now. Oh, I am enjoying it. I've, at least I got to that hill. At least I made it to the hill, you know? I'll just do a little bit of videoing. Because it is so beautiful, the heather, the trees, it's a bit more exposed over here, but I've just climbed up that big hill and when I get back over there, hour or so's time, I'll be able to look back and um, see that hill again and say yes I've been on that now. I got a feeling I've been on it anyway but I came from a different direction. Came from a different direction up there. Somebody coming now, I'm going to turn off.